The first thing we looked for is whether or not we could see any evidence of this fungal disease in the frogs. And so we looked at the frogs that we caught, we, looked at, we checked for signs of chytrid infection, and we didn't see any of that. We just saw very healthy looking frogs, populations looked really good, and so we would catch them and we just swabbed them anyway, just in case so that we could run the swabs later and see if there was any chytrid that we could detect on them. The fungus itself has been considered one of the major biodiversity um, problems that has come about um, in modern history. We didn't expect to find chytrid in the lowlands, and at least some people that we were talking to about the research said, well, it's really good that you're proving it's not there. And there had been this assumption that chytrid didn't really do well at high temperatures. And we were showing that even despite actually a very warm spell that had happened right before we got there, that there was still a lot of chytrid present. I think that this discovery is significant because it also may spell that the story is not over. So chapter one, we have this massive global um, pandemic. Chapter two, things sort of stabilize in the sense that many of the species that were going to go away, unfortunately, have gone away. Um, others may be starting to rebound. A scary chapter three is the fungus evolves to actually now take over these new niches that it's found itself in. And so we might be seeing microevolution taking place in habitats that this fungus has now recently come to. I think it's really important to test assumptions. Everything that we do in science comes with some level of assumptions. Um, and in some cases, assumptions are great because they can help you save some time and money and energy. But in other cases, our assumptions are wrong. We're part of a museum that thinks it's really important to take as much data as you can on every animal that you catch because we think that makes them maximally useful to scientists around the world that are studying many different things.